Interesting materials are very much part of Hublot's DNA. We've come here to Glon with the Mont Blanc behind me on just a glorious Swiss summer day to visit Hublot's case-making facility. Now this is an interesting time to be here because in just a few hours, in a matter of fact, Hublot is going to move all of the equipment here to its main facility in Nyon where there is a brand new building next to the movement assembly building that has been there for some while. We're going to look at how carbon fiber cases are made and also the relative taxilium that brings color to them. We're going to see the various processes for machining and the complexity of assembly. When you take a close look at a Hublot case like this, I, I think even with a short period of time, you come away with the impression of the complexity and the number of components it has. And then, in fact, if you go a little deeper, which you won't have uh, if you're in a boutique, but we have here uh, in the uh, Hublot factory, uh, the diagram of a Hublot case and how many components, in fact, there are you can really begin to understand there's a lot involved in making the case. But it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper because of the kind of materials that are being used, and in particular, cases made of carbon fiber or cases made of taxilium. And Jean-Pierre Collère, who is uh, next to me, is going to explain some of the different steps that are involved in making all of these many components that will go into the case out of these materials. Bonjour, uh, Bonjour, merci. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer... Uh, Can you explain the, the process, the various steps, to make a component like this out of carbon fiber or taxilium? Tout à fait. Donc, comme tout matériau... Indeed. As with all composite materials, the first step is to obtain the material that comes as a sheet. That's a sheet. Yes, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Donc comme elle fait environ 0,2 mm d'épaisseur, and because it is about 0.2 millimeters in thickness, if you want to make a component like this, which we can use to fabricate a piece of the case, which is about 2 millimeters thick, it will take 10 layers of sheets like this, superimposed one over the other. And that is the form to arrive at a piece like this. Machined to be one of the components you showed on the diagram a bit earlier. Okay. Donc pour mettre en forme toutes ces, toutes ces feuilles, so, to make the form like this, all of the sheets, carbon fiber or taxilium, we have to fabricate a mold in which we can put the layers and then polymerize the resin that is embedded in the sheets. In the mold, you can easily see all the layers superimposed to make the piece that will become the part. De la pièce qui viendra right. extraite du moule. You put the mold in the oven, and afterwards you take out a piece like this. Une pièce comme ça. Et ça arrive ici. And this arrives here in this form because the processing takes place in Lausanne. Là, voilà. ça se, se trouve à Lausanne. Nous avons euh, une société avec qui nous avons un contrat. We work with a company with whom we've had a contract for a long time. We work with them because we can fabricate the mold. Par contre, pour pouvoir polymériser cette résine, cette But for polymerizing the resin, they have the ovens and vacuum pumps which are needed. Être en forme ces composants pour obtenir. Et est-ce que ça ressemble Does this resemble the process used for cars Tout à fait. Donc si c'est cette société là avec qui nous travaillons, Exactly. This company is well known in the Formula 1 world. They make different parts for Formula 1 like spoilers, scoops for the motor, etc. Ces gens sont habitués. They're used to paying attention to design details. For example, for a watch case, there are things that are very important. We want all the small squares to be perfectly aligned on the angle, and we don't want marks in different directions. We can't have that. Our design demands that the fibers are aligned in the 12 to 6 o'clock direction. Donc toutes ces exigences de qualité design qui sont euh, demandées, this partner can fulfill all our design requirements. When you look at a part like this, one with the color blue, are there other things that have to be mastered beyond what you do for carbon fiber that's black? Exactly. That's exactly what you said. The fiber of carbon 
It's exactly what you said. Carbon fiber always has this black color characteristic, anthracite black with the small squares. It's not possible to add color to carbon fiber. So we have a solution with texilium. Texilium consists of an integration of fiberglass with the carbon. The fiberglass can be colored blue like this, or gray like this. So we can make color come out with the carbon. Sortir cette couleur à travers notre carbone et lui donner la couleur que l'on veut. Est-ce que vous avez Do you have an example of the different layers of fiberglass and carbon fiber? Bien sûr. Donc, si on ouvre un moule qui a été préparé, of course. When we open the mold which we prepared, you can see the layers of carbon and finally the layer of fiberglass and this fiberglass will be colored like you want with some transparency down to the layer of the carbon fiber. This gives us the effect that we want. It's not a surface coating, it's integrated. So that arrives more or less in the same form as the carbon fiber. It's the same form. And it's machined more or less with the same method. Absolutely, with the same machine. Jean-Pierre, nous sommes devant la machine pour la fabrication de... Jean-Pierre, we're in front of the machine for the fabrication of the strap attachment piece. Can you show us how the part arrives here and the part after it's been cut out? Bien sûr. Nous commençons par... Of course. We begin with a profile that conforms to that of our strap attachment piece. Okay, so it's cut out... Exactement. Donc, euh, dans le profilé... Exactly. With the profile, we can machine several parts on the piece that we receive from our friends in Lausanne. La fibre de carbone... Carbon fiber is very aggressive with the cutting tools. The cutting tools that you can see on the machine have a useful life of 10 to 12 parts, so that we have to change out the tool often. If we don't, there will be deterioration in the carbon because the machine will not cut cleanly. Can you make a comparison of the wear, for example, with a normal case such as stainless steel or perhaps gold, compared to carbon fiber? Alors, une boîte en acier ou en titane, a steel case or one in titanium allows us to make 200 or 300 cases with the same tool. With carbon or textilium, that would be 12. So you can see right away the difference in the handling of the tool and the cost of the wear of the tool. And now that the uh process is finished, it's time to take out the machined part. Jean-Pierre, nous avons vu uh, le dick. Jean-Pierre, we've seen the cutting of the strap attachment, but after that, there's hand finishing, which must be done. Indeed. What is she doing? Voilà, donc comme l'usinage... Since the machining leaves very tiny burrs on the edges of the part, it's necessary to have a fine abrasive to take off the tiny burrs and also to clean up the holes. Pour que à l'entrée des trous. This is like a file operation. One can say file, but in fact it is an abrasive paper because a file is too coarse for the surface we want. We want an abrasive that is very fine like this small stick and next a small polisher to remove the small defects at the edge of the hole. You have to do this very carefully to avoid scratches. Exactly, because we had a protection layer earlier that's not here now. So we have to do this without scratching anything. We are in the room, the assembly room for the case, and we have the case which is the same that we saw earlier in your office, I believe. 
la boîte complète est comme ceci. The whole case is like this one. There's one more operation to position the bezel. We can see the strap attachment piece here integrated into the whole case. The taxilium, the taxilium that we saw. L'embout de bracelet que nous avons vu tout à l'heure, usine. Yes, the taxilium that we saw being fashioned. Now we are covering the mechanism, leaving open the zone with the pusher for the mechanism. This allows the owner to have several straps of different colors and to change them himself. Very quickly. Click, click. Click, click. He changes the habits with other Click, click. He can change the look with another color as he wants. So, the assemblage of the attach bracelet on the boîte de montre à l'aide de deux vis. The strap attachment assembly is attached to the case with two screws that have the Hublot design engraved on them that requires a special screwdriver. To guarantee that the screws are properly tight, there's a dynametric screwdriver that delivers the correct torque, and that makes the small click that you hear. You see here the functioning of the pusher. You can test it with a bracelet and you hear the click, like a seat belt. One more time. Now you see the bezel made of texilium. You can see that for aesthetic reasons, we have decided to have a blue slightly different from the rest of the components. And you can see the adaptability of texilium that allows us to get the particular color we want, one that's vibrant. Now the placement of the bezel with the screws of the type we saw earlier, and now we start with the dynametric screwdriver to tighten all of the screws. I think from what you've seen today, following just a few of the steps and basically really only one of the many components, you will never take for granted again a watch case because there's enormous complexity in the number of components. There are watchmaking skills that resemble those of watchmakers assembling movements and very fine finishing, all married with high technology to produce the parts themselves. So you now see how much goes into a carbon fiber and a taxilium case at Hublot.